As of August 2010, the Salvation Army World Service Office reported nearly 7 million meals served, over 7,000 baby bottles distributed, and 1.5 million gallons of water provided to the thousands of displaced individuals looking to the Salvation Army for aid. The work of the Salvation Army in Haiti started long before the earthquake of January 2010, and the work will continue long after the headlines turn to other events. By the grace of God and the resources provided by World Services funding, the future of Haiti is optimistic. Well, the Salvation Army in Haiti is uh, 60 years old. It is the largest Salvation Army program in the Western Hemisphere, uh, south of North America. The Salvation Army has a great past in Haiti, uh, and a lot of people aren't aware that even being a small island country, the Salvation Army is presently operating 48 schools, we have 60 corps, we have 6,000 soldiers, and um, in spite of unthinkable heartache, um, the future is bright. The future is bright, and we have a large World Services um, connection around the world through the Salvation Army that is going to make sure that that happens. One of the things that we want to consider in any future investment in Haiti at this particular time is what we're calling a build back better. And we're going to build back better anything that we do in Haiti. Um, this was a natural disaster, the earthquake of January 12th. But more than that, it was a disaster because of the poverty and the broken systems that represented Haiti before the earthquake. In the city of Port-au-Prince, uh, uh, it's estimated that there are a million and a half people who remain homeless because uh, more than half the homes were either damaged or destroyed. Self-denial implies giving without expecting anything in return. But the interesting thing is that when we give according to God's rules and according to His Word, um, He always blesses us back. Many of the programs that we will be implementing over the next few years uh, have a more integrated approach, um, supporting families, but also helping families with uh, vocational training, with, with the ability to generate income. So it's not just a matter of, as we say in the Salvation Army, a hand out, but really we need to be more about giving people a hand up. The Haitian people um, are people filled with so much hope and uh, buried somewhere in the midst of all of this calamity, they still have a speck of hope. And um, the Salvation Army wants to be a part of that. And so I would just uh, thank the Salvationists around the world who have given to um, this great historic moment uh, for Haiti. And I would also challenge the Salvation Army uh, to continue to partner um, at your local level, wherever that might be. Um, it's a win-win situation, as we said, when you give, you get back and uh, we invite you to be a part of this process where we can participate together uh, for the glory of God. There is a God of hope. Uh, there is a God who loves us. You know? And the psalmist said, you know, the Lord is the refuge of the poor. And it's our responsibility to be alongside those who are suffering.